So let us first of all go to the stanzas. So the first stanza is, Bite your nails, Amanda. Don't hunch your shoulders, Amanda. Stop that slouching and sit up straight, Amanda. So you can write down the questions on the side for this paraphrase in your books only. The first question is, who is addressing Amanda? Who is addressing Amanda? Her mother is addressing Amanda. Okay, her mother. The mother of the girl, Amanda, is addressing her. Second question is, where is Amanda at present? Where is Amanda at present? She is at her home, at her house. Okay. So in the first answer, what are the bad things that Amanda, that Amanda do? What bad things does Amanda do? So Amanda, she bites her nails. She sits idly and she raises her shoulders awkwardly. These are the various things that Amanda do. So what is the meaning of slouching? What is the meaning of slouching? So what is the meaning of slouching here? So slouching means, it means sitting in a bad posture. Right? So any doubt in first para? I hope that it is clear. Now we are going to second para, which is put in brackets. There is a language ambulance. So first of all, I would like to ask you, what is the meaning of language? What is the meaning of language here? Language means relaxed or peaceful. There is the language emerald sea where the sole inhabitant is me, a mermaid drifting blissfully. So how is Amanda known at present? Okay, or you can see why Amanda imaginate imaginates herself to be in the Emerald Sea. Why she is imagining herself to be in the Emerald Sea? Because she is feeling herself like an orphan. She is tired of this nagging behavior of her mother who is instructing her again and again. And it is because of this reason she wants to live a secluded, a separate or a lonely life. Okay. What this girl or what Amanda wants to do in the second stanza? Amanda wants to live a separate life. She wants to live in the in the fresh water of green colored sea where only she will be living and like a mermaid she would be covering all the areas of the sea and drifting blissfully without being interrupted and without being seen by anybody. So this is what she wanted to do. Now, did you finish your homework, Amanda? Did you tidy your room, Amanda? I thought I told to clean your shoes, Amanda. So what are the instructions given by her mother? What her mother used to tell her? Her mother used to tell her to complete her homework, to tidy up her room and to clean her shoes. So there is nothing difficult in this stanza. Let us move to the next stanza. That is, I'm an orphan roaming the street. I pattern soft dust with my hushed bare feet. The silence is golden and freedom is sweet. So again, who is speaking these lines? Again, Amanda is speaking these lines. So, wh why she is thinking herself an orphan? Is she really an orphan? No, she's not an orphan. Okay, she is imagining herself as an orphan because she thought that the relation between her mother and Amanda has been shattered because of her continuous taunting and continuous fault-finding nature. And this is the reason she wished to be an orphan where nobody would be there to disturb her. And <coughs> what is the meaning of or which word which means silent here it is hushed okay hushed means silence right so these are the paraphrase questions for this you can write on the side of the book 
Next enzymes. No, don't don't eat chocolate, Amanda. Remember your acne 